Good afternoon. Welcome to the upper room here at Father's house. Uh, this is one of my favorite spots. It's uh, a rocking chair. I have a thing about rocking chairs. I, I enjoy sitting in my rocking chair and uh, just praying, reading the Bible. And this is often where I sit during our weekly Bible studies that we've had. Uh, I want to share a portion of scripture with you today before we pray. And I want to thank you, first of all, for joining us again and for your commitment to keep praying through these weeks and months coming of uh, looking to Jesus to walk us through our uh, pandemic, as it's called, COVID-19. Aren't you glad there's no pandemic with Jesus? He just remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. I, I want to direct your attention to Psalm 27. Um, it is a scripture that I love so much, um, one of great comfort to me. And I know that I have posted from Psalm 27 somewhat, but I want to take us a little further on in this psalm, read a few verses from it, just to remind ourselves that God is with us, that he is our strength, and that we don't have to be afraid. So let's look at the beginning of this psalm. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? goes on to say, One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. Uh, we have a preschool program called We College. And uh, right now, online, on Zoom conferencing, we're continuing to work through Psalm 23 with the children. And you remember that psalm so well. It finishes that I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I'm so happy to remind us that our shepherd takes care of us, that he has a place prepared for us to dwell with him in a safe place away from all harm, that there is a time coming. But even now, as our shepherd, he can hide us. He can take us to that secret place that we go to when we enter into his presence, when our soul is refreshed and restored, when we are absolutely comforted by him. I want to remind you today that he takes you to his secret place, that he hides you in his pavilion where nothing can touch you, that your soul can be restored, that as you just spend moments with him in his presence, he pours into you and gives you the strength that you need. At the very end of this psalm, it finishes with these words. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's the land of the living that's here and now. So wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your hearts. Wait, I say, on the Lord, we will see his goodness. And if even we look for it today, we will be seeing his goodness all around us. If we opened our eyes and our look and we take our eyes off of the negative, we take our eyes off the things that are of uh, scary reports. If we look to him, we will see his goodness, his goodness that takes us, us through each day. The goodness of knowing that we are loved that we are not alone. The goodness of knowing that he is our rock and our fortress. He is the one that provides for us his goodness. So let's pray together today. Let's give these things to the Lord and let's look to him to walk with us through these days and to help us. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus, my rock, my fortress my deliverer, the one in whom I trust. We come to you today asking you for strength as we walk through these days, asking you for wisdom, asking you for understanding of 
What's important for us to know today? What's important for us to focus on today? What can we do for you today, Lord? We ask you, direct our path in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to be with our loved ones. Lord, there are people who are so near and dear to our hearts. Those that we are concerned about, Lord, and we worry about what's going on with them and maybe we can't be close to them right now. We ask you, Lord, to minister to them in a way that we cannot, to be near to them, to fill them up with your presence, to, to help them in these times of distress and trouble. Lord, we also pray for those who are suffering today, who are in sickness, who are hurting and aching in their bodies, who are with fever, Lord, because of this virus. And we thank you, Jesus, that we can look to you to touch them, to strengthen them deep inside their souls, that they are able to, to withstand and to bear the things that are, are attacking their bodies, Lord. We pray that you would take away this virus that you would stop it. We pray against predictions. We pray against curves on a graph, a line that says this is where it's going. God, you are able to change all of that. And we ask you for this in Jesus' name. We ask you, Lord, to help us not to fight you or your will, but to be strong in you and in the power of your might to know that whatever comes our way, you are with us and that everything we need, we find in you. Oh God, let our faith be strong. Let us not waver. Let us not be afraid. And don't let our enemy triumph over us, Lord, in any way, God. I pray against the enemy of our souls who wants to weaken us and wants us to be afraid, who wants us to to panic. God, I pray that the victory we experience will be victory in Jesus and that the enemy has no victory and he cannot delight in these days, Lord. He has nothing. We pray that you would rebuke him in Jesus' name and send him far away from us. Protect and guide our unity in our homes, in our marriages, in our churches, Lord. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.